Hey there guys, how are you all doing? This is here, Vibro from Tech Week team. And so today in this uh, video, we're going to be doing the review of the Phoenix OS Thunder. So yeah, the developers and I think his friends, the developers friends, I guess the team of developers friend has been coming into my videos and they have been like commenting on my videos to try this out. The Thunder version is great. The game doesn't lag this thing, that thing. It doesn't ban like stuff like that like they were just bombarding my whole community with the um with this one uh tips labs go to tipslabs.info go ahead and just check out the phoenix os thunder um thunderbird like thunderbird is it a bike Doot. all right so this is a really um a different build as you can see it's quite really um looks really different than kind of a usual a usual uh phoenix os it bought uh, different dikta hai dekh sakte ho la 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 sab kuch ha huh, that lizard Boot. okay so everything is just looks really uh, red red over here and let me go to the settings and just look at this it, it says thunder os all right and also just look at the gear um it's been shrinked i i i don't know why maybe dr disrespect would love it if you don't know who it is just go ahead and do a Google search. So this is what the settings uh, windows look like. You get really awesome like icons, red icons everywhere, like ROG kind of shit, you know, uh, like red and just gaming centric things. You go to about device, you can just take a look. Um, it's a status, legal information. And before going forward, please watch this video until last, last because I can guarantee you that and just enjoy this video right this is really hilarious just take a look not the os i'm just talking about the video and then yeah we can see, see the device maintainer is as am um nahid imon all right that's a pretty interesting name and also the model you can see phoenix os thunder all right thunder to the thunder light Toot. all right so this is you can see the thunder version is a 4.0 light oh yes there is a two version and the one that you're looking right now is the light version there are two versions i'll be just showing you shortly and also the, all the change logs will be there so just stay tuned all right i'm going to it android version you can see is on 7.1.2 hmm all right well yeah i have nothing to say and um security patch level is december 5th 2016 hmm quite new and kernel version is 4.13.5. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Um, quite usual, like everyone's. OpenGL version is open uh, maze of 17.1.10. And build number is NMF260. That looks kind of dope. All right. So this is what the about device looks like. Just close this thing up and let me go ahead to their forum. Don't worry, the link will be there in the description. So you can go ahead and check them out by yourself um so it was published on 16th 16th of march 2020 all right so this is a stable phoenix os thunder 4.0 light best gaming os for low and pc hdr cc fps no lag no ads whoa that are like too many stuffs at one go all right it says the phoenix os thunder specially modded for all pubg mobile global PUBG Mobile Lite, PUBG Mobile KR, PUBG Mobile VN, Free Fire, etc. So, yeah, it's a big deal. Everything will go in this. It's not the name of COD, that's why I'm not trying to try COD right now. Because, you know, I don't like playing COD. It's just a waste of time. It's just a fucking waste of time. And, um, basically, yeah, there is the logo of fear. Do you know who it is? It is Barry Allen. He is the fastest man alive. I just love that cartoon. Oh, not cartoon, that series. You know, it's just totally awesome. You should check it out. CW series. It's just pretty awesome. Um, and this one, you know, you can see the wallpaper. Just pretty awesome. That's Barry Allen with his dress. And props goes to JustinMahler.com for making this wallpaper. Mm -hmm. I know he doesn't know about this, I guess. But who cares? So it says the Phoenix OS Android X86 Project Thunder. <laughs> Thunder sounds like this. I guess I don't know. And also, um, let's see what's new. So compiling resources. All right. This has been fixed like long back. 
lag issues have been fixed because of oh look at just see if you use out speed then your you get 99.99 percent lag free gameplay okay awesome error issues sometimes you're facing some hangs all right root uh, magic 19.3 VIP surfaces are permanently removed for smooth and stable performance. All right, that's kind of good, I guess. Launcher is the latest Thunder Launcher. Oh, added removed. Just take a look at this. This They are added removed and Phoenix OS stock along. All right, LSP latest official LSP. Okay, audio issues have been fixed. All right, that's awesome. Boot new animation. Yes, there is an awesome boot animation that's just yeah, you can just take a look. Uh, like this uh, micro G apps, uh, Viper for Android. There is no G apps crashing or stuff like that. So it's pretty awesome. So features modified with uh, 3.6.1.64 official, smooth and stable, pre rooted. Uh, Linux kernel is this. Uh, Maze I shown you, Wi Fi, ET, ETNet. All right. If you know what ETNet is, hmm. Bluetooth, camera, everything is just working this is like awesome new features and change log uh of the thing here thunder v 4.0 light 99.99 stable then all thunder and tl mode new kernel stuff like that and you know like everything else new gaming tweaks added via browser is the thing and there is no huge number of bloatwares there's not even a not even cz file explorer or file manager here you just need to um use the fx for fx file manager but don't worry your partitions will be enabled so you can just go ahead and um access all your hard drives with it so there's no worries some games full screen is added so oh cod mobile here it is hmm. and screenshots are given all right so credit goes to these awesome peeps asam um nahid imon uh really great work man a thunder developer um, props to you tip labs team great job phoenix os great job as well android x86 team awesome open jabs teams yeah xd developers woohoo chain fire uh wait and this top john woo aosp team and yeah for kernel okay just take a look i don't know who actually built it for android hmm. and the size is around like 484 megabytes that's pretty awesome like you know if you have a really old system or i don't know after like downloading the 7 zip 7 z file it is around 484 megabytes but after extracting it the iso file is around two gigabytes <sighs> maybe that's all right it says that ram you need one gigabyte or more 8 gigabytes of hgd plus open gl 3.1 supported chipset amd intel nvidia supported awesome <clears throat> excuse me and also there is a normal version the stable thunder uh this non-light version let's take a look at it and let's see what is different here i just don't think there is any kind of difference over here oh there is more bloatwares in it so mm, you, if you want to install this you can just go ahead and use uh download the light version you know like the, the uh stock like the big version doesn't have much but the light version has less so less is equal to more for us because more ram more ram that will be used by the game and more performance so games ram fps fps all right so these are the things then don't worry the link will be there in the description so you can go ahead check it out it's totally free and uh yeah that, that's it and let's okay now let's take a look at the um pubg gameplay i will just show you in the last but for installation uh the video will be there in the description um the installation process is damn same as that of uh phoenix vip console so, you know the, the one that i use my for my daily driver and so yeah Installation video will be there in the description, so don't worry. For a legacy BIOS, my friend, um, my friend, his name, it will be splashed in the screen. It's really difficult to um, spell that. Uh, my friend, he has made an installation video for the legacy user, so the link of that video, installation video, will be there in the description, so you can go ahead, install this system up if you are interested. And so, yeah, let's close this thing up. And let's take a look at how the game runs. 
that is the PUBG Mobile and what are kind of settings that you're going to get out of the box. So the apps, uh, like I said, it's a pretty kind of um, load free experience, which is pretty awesome, like double thumbs up for that. And let's open up PUBG Mobile right away and let's take a look at how the performance is. Do not worry, we just need one clean shot to kill. Just ignore my bullshit. And let's um, wait until the game just loads. As you can see, there is no um, compiling resources that have been fixed long ago. Like I mean, one year, I guess. So yeah, one year ago. And so we can see emulator detection is turned on. But I cannot guarantee you that you are going to be banning your account if you're going to play with this. But if you want to play safe, go with VIP console 2.1 because I've been using it for a long and it's just working great. You can see it's running pretty great. You might see some stuttering because of the 30 frames per second video, but I am regarding it 60 frames per second, but I don't know what happened. So out of the box, you're going to get smooth and extreme preset, which is awesome. Remember what the developer said, HDR extreme. When I would go to HDR, I just get ultra. So... <clears throat> I don't know. Hit OK. Now let's take a look at how it runs. And hit OK. And all right. So that's pretty sweet. The shadow of Tomb Raider. And the shadow just appears. It's quite awesome. You know, like, yeah, the performance, I won't say it's jaw dropping or stuff like that. I just found it to be pretty same as that of VIP console Dark Matter. I just don't know. Um, if you're facing some problems in Dark Matter and VIP console or ROC and you are trying to search for another version, you can just go ahead and try this out, guys. You know, it's really nice to see like developers trying to build their own version of Phoenix OS with their own magical powers in it. You know, it's pretty neat. You know, even you can see the start button is different. The settings, it's red in color, like pretty much nicely done by the developer. I want to really, and also the mouse cursor, you can see it's kind of a triangular um, thingy. Like it looks pretty dope. And also, we, how can we forget our beloved Barthonian or whatever his name is, Barry Allen, just in Mahler.com for the wallpaper. And uh, Phoenix OS Android. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you got any queries, go ahead in the description. Just blow me out there. Any any problems? Hindi me ho in English. I got no issues. So you can just go ahead and bomber me out there. All your problems, I would really love to do. Love to help you guys out. And um, what else? Yeah, installation video will be there in the description. Um, download link will be also there in the description. So yeah, it's pretty easy, you know, let's just go ahead and just copy and replace some files and just pretty much installed like all the other things like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything is working. I just tested it out and it's just working great. I did play my game over here as well. So it was just working pretty awesomely without any issues. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this is Vbro signing out from Tech Week. If you got any queries, you know how to reach me uh, in my Instagram as well as Discord, as well as the um, Dropbox comment box down below. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Vbro signing out. Have a great day. Bye. Take care. And God bless you all. Now, get the hell out of here.